Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I have something very, very special. This is the Oppo Find X, and not only were they awesome enough to sponsor this video, but they also hooked us up with an early unit before it's actually even been announced. What's really cool with this guy is that not only does it ship with a bezel-less design, but on top of that, it's got some features I've never even seen on another phone before. I'm also really excited because this has been sitting on my desk all morning and I have not opened it up yet. Ooh. Dude, look at that purple finish. So it's only on the edges, but it sort of tapers off into black in the middle. Wow. Now technically this color is known as Bordeaux Red, although I've got to say, um, pretty sure it's purple. Just throwing that one out there, it's pretty purple. Did you see that? Wait. 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 Wait, what? Hold on, hold on, I gotta do that again. That is so insane, look at that camera. So the whole top of the phone pops out. So part of the reason that they're actually able to make a bezel-less display is because the camera is fully hidden. I mean, look at that. So not only is the front-facing camera gonna be hidden, but you're also going to be able to get your dual rear-facing cameras. That is... This is the future. I cannot believe how cool this is. I mean, it looks awesome. The screen is really nice. We've basically got no bezel, but there's no real trade-off there. I'm sorry, I'm too excited right now. I'll bring it back a notch, but get it? Bring it back a notch, because there's no notch. So I knew a little bit about this phone, but I purposely wanted to sort of save it for the video. And I knew there was gonna be some kind of pop-out camera. But the idea that the entire front of the phone pops in and comes back down, I mean, look at that. That's insane. Like, I, okay, I, I know I need to calm down. But, I mean, it's the whole package. I mean, it's even got the curved AMOLED display. There's no bezel, the camera, the killer color. <laughs> it's really hard. It's really hard for me to like, take this seriously right now. It's so cool. I mean, I legitimately did not expect this to be a thing that you could buy in 2018. I mean, sure, as sort of the future gets closer and closer, as sort of screen tech gets better, there's a lot of interesting ideas, but the fact that this is gonna be a phone that you can buy very, very soon, I don't think I've ever touched a piece of hardware that has gotten me this excited about a phone. Straight up, I have never been this amped to try any kind of phone hardware. I feel like things have gotten so stale, so boring these days, that this is something that's so different. I mean, it's not only just the notch. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of the notch, but I can kind of live with it. But the fact that you've got a fully bezel-less display, I mean, if I unlock it here, and use my super cool face unlock, You'll see that there's gonna be a tiny, tiny little bit of bezel on bottom and basically nothing on the top and sides. But I mean, that's so close. I don't even think it counts as a Chen. Jimmy. Yes. Ooh, so I saw it in the box off, but I didn't see the back. And don't I, like, you like that finish? That's awesome. So this is like what they wanted. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> I knew it, I knew Wait. it. What? <laughs> that is so weird. <laughs> it has a little noise and everything. Next victim. This is the Find X. Alrighty. Is this the year of no headphone jack in? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Oh, damn. The sad thing is we actually have to give this back, but I'm totally just gonna buy one for myself. This is too cool to not have. Before we get too carried away, as if that hasn't already happened yet, there are a fair few accessories in the box. We've got a little bit of paperwork. We've also got the USB-C to headphone jack adapter. No, this does not have a 3.5 mil headphone jack, but I think I can live with that. So with the fast charging, you should be able to get somewhere in the neighborhood of two hours of talk time for about five minutes of a charge. And considering the size of it, it looks about right. But some of the more exciting stuff is actually going to be on the actual phone itself. That's still cool. Inside, this guy's about as high end as it gets. So you're going to be getting a Snapdragon 845, eight gigabytes of RAM, as well as 128 gigs of storage. It's also got the basically bezel-less design. So with a 94% screen to body ratio, yes, if you look on the bottom, it's going to be a tiny, tiny bezel. But honestly, as far as I'm concerned, this is the closest to a fully bezel-less phone we've seen, especially considering that there's going to be no notch. You're also going to be getting a full 6.4 inch 2340 by 1080p display. And not only is it going to look nice, but it's also going to be a Samsung AMOLED panel, which gives you not only nice contrast, good color, but it's also going to give you the ability of having that curved edge on left and right. Now there is no fingerprint sensor. However, the face unlock is supposed to be much more accurate and it's pretty quick too. So if I hit the button, swipe up, it pops up, scans and closes pretty quickly. Sure, not quite as fast as something like just dropping your finger on a fingerprint sensor, but as far as I'm concerned, that's worth the trade-off. I mean, software-wise, this is running Android 8.1 with ColorOS on top. 
Now it's going to be a little bit of a heavier scan, but you do get some nice additions, including some multitasking gestures. So if you swipe up, you can go between your apps. You don't actually have to use the standard Android navigation keys. The only issue here is that because this is a Chinese market phone, there's currently no Google Play Store on my unit, although you could probably figure that out yourself. Now camera wise, around back you're going to find a 16 megapixel camera paired with a 20 megapixel sensor. And around front, you're actually going to be getting a full 25 megapixels for that selfie action. There's actually a lot of detail here. That's not bad at all. So there's going to be some AI trickery to be able to optimize your photos, at least based on first glance. Again, keep in mind, pre-production, they're still working on it. it. Looks pretty nice. I definitely want to wait for the final software and hardware before fully judging the camera. But at first glance, it seems to be decent at the very least. It has been a long time since I've seen a piece of hardware come in here that is just this cool. Now I don't have price, I don't have a release date just yet, but it should be on sale this year. And I gotta say, I'm sad I have to give it back. I'm actually legitimately gonna buy one.